Hi, what's up everybody? It's Kay Villa. We're going to be doing a tutorial style video today. Um, just basically showing how you can use machine um, with the DAW. Uh, not as a plugin, but still have machine recorded in your DAW as uh, on separate tracks using Soundflower. And um, also, uh, what I'm showing off here is how you can use an, what's called an aggregate device to use two different devices in the same program. Um, and it's actually, you can see it running right here on the background. I have uh, my vocals being recorded for this video on one track, and then on the second track, I have uh, stereo inputs one and two, which is my outputs for machine. Um, so let's first have a quick look at that. Um, under File, Audio MIDI Settings, Machine. Uh, when you look under Routing, it shows you how the uh, outputs are broken down. You can change them as well. But uh, basically, yeah, output one for machine is going to be two channels left and right on uh, Soundflower one and two. Output two is going to give left and right on three and four, and so on. So that's all set up. Um, head back into Reaper here. Uh, actually, let's have a quick look on machine first, just to go over how the sounds and things are broken down. So you'll see on machine, I'm under sound tab right now. Modules is not selected, so I go to button eight there, and that's going to be my outputs. So all my sounds by default output to the group and then my groups then output to the master and then the master goes to output one so that's why you see now back on the software here input one and two which is my two outputs left and right for machine that's why they're getting recorded there um, so what I'm going to be doing today is setting it up so that my groups output to outputs two and three we have two groups here and those are going to get recorded on their own separate tracks so first thing off, uh, you don't want to change this, you may want to, but you don't always want to change this output to um, out two, because then this group will no longer be going to the um, to the master, and this track here in uh, Reaper will no longer be getting this group's sound. So that's why we have the uh, aux, and actually this is normally just to none. It sounds a little better that way too. Um, I'm going to change... And I got the main track muted, so that's why it was so loud there, but uh, let's see. So there we go. We got this group going to output two. And I'm going to create a track now in Reaper. And have you record, again, two being three and four. Be careful you don't use two and three here or, you know, whatever it shows up in your um, on your program that you choose. So three and four going to start recording from there. Output 2. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. No, I chose my Sapphire here. Sorry. So Soundflower 1 and 2 is down at the bottom here. I'm going to stun me for a sec. So 2 and 3 skill you're skipping, and then uh, 3 and 4 is right there. So there we go. That looks a little better. So that's that track there. I'm going to insert another track, do the same thing for my group E, which is my drums. Turn it down first of all. And we're going to make it to output 3. So of course output 3, when I arm this, is going to be, again, down at the sound flower. It's going to be 5 and 6. And there you have it. There's my drums recording on one track. we got the samples on this track, vocals all on that track. And uh, it's all recording separately. Um, the one thing I forgot to show you is the uh, aggregate device that I mentioned. Um, that you can get to through your audio setup, which again you can get through um, your uh, utilities as well. So under applications, utilities, audio MIDI setup, and uh, here's your audio devices. All you got to do to create the aggregate device, you hit this little plus sign here. It's going to create this line, your aggregate device. You add in whatever you want, um, basically the different devices that you will want to use to record in this software. Um, just click them in. In my case, it's my interface and sound flower, so I can have the interface on one track, the sound flower split up on the others, and uh, so you'll see the total outputs and inputs are listed down there. And uh, yeah, so once you got that set up, you can then go into, you know, in my case, Reaper and your preferences can't see it right now but that's where you select your, um, your device and instead of you know your built-in or your your interface you just use aggregate device so that it can pull from both and uh, that's all there is to it I uh, hope that helped some of you guys out with your setup or maybe use a machine in a different way um, 
you have any questions, hit me up in the comments or send me a message. I'll try to answer you if I can. Peace.